Hello dear viewers, a very warm welcome to our channel, it's very good to have you here. In this video we are going to have a look at the cylinder head. This is a very critical engine component. Let's have a look at some of the things that we need to know about the cylinder head. The cylinder head is a very large, intricate metal casting and uh, usually made up of aluminium or some kind of cast iron alloy. And it sits that precisely on the top of the engine block. As you can see, right in this line, this is the distinct line where there is a cylinder head gasket. Above that, we have the cylinder head, and below that, we have the engine block. Cylinder block is below here. Above, we have the cylinder head. So that is the cylinder head, and it is bolted with immense force. There are bolts fixing the cylinder head to the engine block. Right here, you see there is a bolt, for example. These bolts are not lightly tightened, they are torqued rather because the cylinder head is under extreme pressure from combustion. So these cylinder head bolts are bolted together to the engine block and there is a head gasket between the engine block and the cylinder block in order to prevent any sort of leakage. Right here you see there is a cylinder head gasket. Now, what is the duty of the cylinder head? The main job, it seals the combustion chamber. As you can see right here we have the piston. When piston is moving up at the end of the compression stroke, there is a volume that is going to allow combustion to take place. Now that has to be sealed. The top part of the engine block is sealed by the cylinder head. So sealing the combustion chamber is one duty of the cylinder head. It contains the top of the cylinder where air fuel mixture is compressed and burned. That's a very crucial task and it manages air flow. It houses valves, as you can see. Right here we have the exhaust valve, and here we have intake valves, then followed by exhaust valve. All these valves and passages are housed inside the cylinder head as well. The cylinder head inlet passage will allow fresh air fuel mixture to get admitted into the cylinder, and once combustion is done, the exhaust gas, it has to be removed, and uh, that is accommodated by the exhaust valve and the red painted exhaust passage as well. What else? The cylinder head, it also facilitates combustion. It houses spark plugs. If you see down there, there is a passage for a spark plug. See there, that, that hole, and on this cylinder right there, you see, those are a spark plug passage for a spark ignition engine. If it is a diesel engine, we might have injectors, diesel fuel injectors, and glow plugs. These are all there to facilitate combustion. So it houses the spark plug and glow plugs and uh, fuel injectors which ignite the air fuel mixture inside the cylinder. The other duty of the cylinder head is it manages lubrication and cooling. You see there are passages right here for, for example there are coolant passages, water jackets are there to allow coolant to circulate and remove any type of excess heat from the cylinder head. It contains intricate passageways for engine oil to lubricate the valve train and for coolant to flow through and uh, carry away immense amount of heat from the engine as well. So what are some of the key components that are housed inside the cylinder head? Well, the first ones are valves. You see here, valves are there. Exhaust valve, intake valve, intake valve. All this, this valve train components. So valves are some of the crucial components that are housed. Intake and exhaust valves are like precise doors that open and close to let gases in and out into the cylinder. And they are subjected to extreme heat and force. And valve springs are also to be mounted on the valves. They are also placed on the cylinder head as well. This keeps the valves closed when they need to be. And on some engines, on overhead cam design, camshafts are also installed on the cylinder head. The brain of the valve train, it is a lobed camshaft that rotates precisely open these valves intermittently so the valves are to be operated by the camshaft the camshaft is some on overhead camshaft is placed on the cylinder head as well but on this type this is where we have the camshaft in block configuration you see the rocker arm the rocker arm shafts and all those rocker arm rocker arms rocker arm shafts and all those supporting piece the push rods all those are to be supported on the cylinder head as well the holes where spark plugs are to be traded are also placed inside the cylinder head. So it is a mounting place for spark plugs, for fuel injectors, and for glow plugs. You see on here we have spark plugs. 
all those spark plugs are to be treated into the cylinder head as well. So the cylinder head has intrinsic passage for coolant and lubricating oil as well. Now, how does the cylinder head work? Well, let's begin from the breathing task, for example. The cylinder head's primary function is managing engine breathing or airflow, which is very crucial for engine performance. As you can see, valves are housed on the cylinder head. Right here we have the exhaust valve. Right here we have these two are the intake. Now, when fresh air is admitted, intake valve will be opened by the camshaft, and that will allow fresh air to be admitted into the cylinder through the passage on the intake stroke. When piston is moving down, intake valve opens, allowing air fuel mixture to be drawn into the cylinder through the cylinder head. This is done by passing fresh air fuel mixture through the intake port. Now, when it comes to the compression stroke, the piston moves up, both valves are closed shut, so the cylinder head is also sealing the topper part of the engine block, and once the piston approaches TDC, then that air fuel mixture will be compressed into the cylinder. That is done by the help of the cylinder head as well. For example, look at here. Air fuel mixture that is getting admitted into the cylinder is now getting compressed as piston is moving up. So this is another task of the cylinder head, and on the power stroke, a spark will be provided by a spark plug that is supplied on the cylinder head and that will ignite the air fuel mixture. And finally, combusted exhaust gas has to be removed. As you can see right here, for example, exhaust valve is opening and allowing exhaust gas to be removed from the engine. And that is done by a passage through the exhaust manifold which is connected to the cylinder head as well. So this entire process happens thousands of times per minute, all controlled by components within the cylinder head. So the cylinder is a very crucial component. Now let's go ahead and have a look at some problems that are associated with the cylinder head. Well, the first problem is a blown head gasket. You see there is a head gasket right here between the block and the cylinder head. Usually, it gets broken between two cylinders. Between two neighboring cylinders, there is a tiny cylinder head, and when cylinder head gasket blows, it usually happens between the two cylinders. Now, what are some of the symptoms of a blown head gasket? If the cylinder head gasket is blown out, you might be seeing engine overheating. You might be having a look at a white smoke from the exhaust, coolant loss with no visible leak. You might also observe milky brown oil on the dipstick, and if you open the radiator or the expansion tank, you might see bubbles inside the overflow tank. So this indicates this head gasket, the gasket material between these two cylinders have blown. What will happen when cylinder head gasket is blown? The seal between the block and the head gasket will fail. That is one thing. And this can allow coolant, coolant from the, these passes will get admitted into the cylinder block. So it will get mixed into the engine, mixed with the oil that will cause milky white coolant. And it will also allow oil to leak out. Oil will leak into the combustion chamber, coolant will leak into the combustion chamber, and compression will leak out. So this is a common problem. Then the other problem is if there is a cracked cylinder head. Cylinder head crack usually happens right here between the valves and the spark plug hole and the valves. Right here we have intake valve, exhaust valve. There is a tiny gap between the valves and uh, the spark plug hole. Usually cylinder head crack will take place between that narrow gap. This will have an effect similar to a blown head gasket. It can cause overheating, it can cause coolant loss, or it can cause oil and coolant to mix. And this is also very concerning. This is often caused by severe overheating. If the cylinder head cracks, extreme heat can cause metal head to warp and crack, as this is a very serious failure requiring cylinder head replacement. The other problem is if there is a warpage on the cylinder head. You see the cylinder head, it has to be very flat. The cylinder head has to lie flat. If somehow this is bent up, this is called warping. Warping is when the cylinder head is not true flat, when it starts bending. This will cause compression loss, can cause engine overheating, or it can cause gasket seal to fail. Gasket will not be sealing properly if 
the cylinder is bent up, for example, if the cylinder head is bent up, preventing from truly lying on the block, that can prevent the head gasket from sealing properly. Now this is usually caused by severe overheating or it is caused by, it might be caused by improper head gasket or improper torquing of the cylinder head bolts. So this is also another problem associated with the cylinder head. And the other problems are related to the valves. Valve related issues like loss of power, misfire, rough idle or backfiring could result if the valves are not sealing properly, if the valves are not seated properly. This could be caused by carbon deposit, it could be caused by wrong valve clearance adjustment, anything that is preventing valve seal that can cause that kind of problem. So valve guide wear can also prevent the valve from sitting correctly. Right here we have valve guides in here. Those are there to guide the valve directly to sit properly. If there is a defective valve guide in here, that can cause the valve to tilt and it can prevent it from fully sitting on the valve seat. That can cause leakage of compression as well. Camshaft related problems can also affect the cylinder head performance. If there is a, for example, if you, if you notice there is a wrong clearance between the valve train components that can cause loud tapping or clicking noise and sometimes cam timing will cause problem of a misfire as well. This is usually affected by wrong valve clearance or valve lash adjustment or lack of oil which causes camshaft lobe to wear out fast and cause knocking sound, loud knocking sound when operating, preventing valve from closing and opening correctly. So these are some of the things that are associated with a problematic cylinder head component. So what are some of the critical warning signs of a trouble? Engine overheating is the number one sign of trouble. The number one cause of catastrophic cylinder head, warp, cylinder head warpage, cylinder head crack, cylinder head failure in general is engine overheating. So never drive an overheated engine. If the cylinder head is overheated, it will become weak. It will not withstand compression and it will start to warp and it will start to crack. The other critical warning sign of a problematic cylinder head component is white exhaust coming from the tailpipe. A classic sign of coolant leak into the engine. This is when there is a problem with the head gasket, for example, if the head gasket is blown and the coolant starts leaking into the combustion chamber, you might find white smoke. Milky or milky oil. If you check your oil level through the deep stick and you find out it is milky white, this is also a clear indication of that coolant is mixing with engine oil. A blown out head gasket can cause coolant to mix with the engine oil. Loss of power and rough running can also be indicative of a problematic cylinder head. If the head is not sealing properly, if the engine loses compression and uh, if the gasket is not sealing properly, that can cause loss of fire, loss of power. Sometimes misfire can also be caused by problematic cylinder head, burned valve or burned valve or Proper, improperly seating valve can also cause that kind of problem. And coolant loss with no visible leak is also indicative of a problem. Coolant, if it is leaking internally into the combustion chamber, you look around, there is no leakage externally, so, but the coolant level is frequently low, that indicates problematic cylinder head components as well. Now, what can you do in order to prolong the service life of the cylinder head? Well, the first thing is prevention. Prevention is very key. The best maintenance is preventing engine overheating. This means maintaining your engine cooling system. Make sure that this water pump, the radiator, all these cooling system components are functioning properly. And make sure that radiator is just dirt free. And regular oil change is also very critical. The oil that is in the, dip, in the oil pan, it is there to lubricate. Oil will not only lubricate, it will also cool down engine components and it will allow dirt and debris removal from the engine components. So make sure that your oil is regularly changed. Clean oil with the correct viscosity is very vital for lubricating parts like camshaft, rocker arms, valve train components. All this, they need lubrication. 
and also make sure that the timing belt is serviced. Timing belt is the one that is going to drive the camshaft. As you can see right there, we have a timing chain where the camshaft is connected to the crankshaft through a timing chain. This is very critical in maintaining correct timing. If the timing in breaks or if it is somehow defective, it will interfere with the engine operation. Pistons can smash into the valves, destroying the cylinder head, destroying the valves, and potentially destroying the entire engine. So make sure that the timing chain is well maintained. On some engines, you have a timing belt. Make sure the timing belt is well maintained as well. And repairing a cylinder head is one of the most complex and expensive jobs in an auto repair shop. It involves removing the engine, removing the cylinder head, the entire head from the engine, which requires disassembling significant portion of your engine. So it often requires specialized machining and specialized tools for maintaining a damaged cylinder head. So always remember that the cylinder head is a very high-tech command center for your engine combustion process. While it can require little direct maintenance, its health is entirely dependent on you preventing engine overheating, keeping up with critical service like belt, timing belt replacement, and making sure that the lubrication system is working properly. Neglecting this can lead to repairs that often exceed the value of the engine itself or the value of the car itself. So don't ignore warning signs indicating a problematic cylinder head or cylinder head component. Otherwise, that can grow into a very big catastrophic problem. Well, dear viewers, that is all we have for you regarding some of the basic things you need to know about the cylinder head. If you find this video helpful and if you enjoy what has been presented, please do smash the like button. If you are new to this channel, do consider subscribing, turn on notifications so that you will be the first to get notified whenever we come up with another video. Until then, stay safe.